Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Wisdom MM. So in this interesting video, I'll showcase you today brain tumor detection and management system. I uh, hope you have seen our brain tumor detection uh, series where I have shown you complete model development including data set, data, uh, data pre-processing, every step I have shown you in, the, in that series. So if you have not seen, quickly visit and see how you can build a brain tumor detection model. So the same model I have used in this web app and integrated it uh, into the Flask app. Along with that, the interesting thing is I have also integrated generative AI GPT-4 model to bring uh, interesting insights in the form of uh, diagnosis uh, explanation along with recommended tests. Let's say if the, if the patient uh, detected with glioma, then what additional test, uh, medical test he needs to do uh, in order to confirm like model uh, the patient is suffering from glioma or not which usually doctors do so we have just tried to replicate uh, the whole process using uh, the model computer vision along with generative ai which will truly assist uh, the doctors specialist in analyzing the case and handle uh, more number of cases right so I'll just quickly show you this application by starting with uh, uh, nurse admin, nurse role. Uh, and uh, if you remember, the synapse section is same as I've shown you in your skin cancer uh, detection system, where uh, the user needs to enter email ID and he has three options, doctor, nurse and admin. Anyone, he can choose and register by entering the password as well. So I'll quickly uh, uh, show you the nurse module. Uh, let's say. I kept this name as random, so don't uh, think otherwise. OK, sign in. Now, if you see uh, uh, these, this is the section. Uh, the home section or you can say a uh, mini dashboard where uh, all the three options will be available to the nurse uh, in this option uh, she can update her details right specialization associated hospital years of experience and uh, she can also upload her image and update it next the option will be given to nurses view report right so view report in this section in this table you can see all the cases handled by this nurse along with doctor's feedback, doctor decision, right? So it includes pending as well as all resolved cases. And if she wants to view a particular case in more detail, so if you see patient details is visible here, right? This is the diagnosis information section where this AI diagnosis is directly coming from generative AI GPT-4 model, where we have given the input as what our computer vision model is seeing uh, in terms of heat map and what is the uh, model's prediction giving that in my giving that as input uh, the generative ai model is generating this diagnosis along with recommended medical tests okay now if we quickly go uh, below so this is model result which uh, which is in terms of what is the model's confidence, disease type, and prediction. <laughs> now, uh, this section is the diagnosis history where she can view what comment she has given for this case, what what's the doctor's feedback on top of that, and what's the doctor decision finally. Okay, so this will give complete. Uh, the view of what is this case all about what's the diagnosis and all and what's the diagnosis history right so now i'll quickly go to model prediction section where i can show you complete cycle how she can upload the image and then it will go to the doctor's panel and later on i'll show you admin panel as well where i'll show you what options are available for admin right so i'll just quickly visit to model prediction where she can enter some uh, more details of the patients like uh, 
any any uh, random name I'm taking. Now I'm I have a folder of all the cases. I can upload any one. I'll just try to see uh, this one men in Dioma. and hit on predict now computer vision model along with generative AI model will run in the back end and if you can see the model has uh, predicted correctly men in ioma okay uh, and if you see this heat map is also pointing in in the right region right uh, the concentration is on the affected region and if you see this medical diagnosis, the observed image suggests two regions of interest in the patient's brain. The region at this indicates a smaller area of concern, right? Uh, and uh, potentially an early stage of or, or a smaller meningioma. The larger region may represent a more advanced or li larger meningioma. Both cases show abnormal tissue growth, potentially indicative of a tumor, right? so that is one and if you see recommended tests so it is suggesting biopsy for historical confirmation and positron emission tomography that is pet scan and if you see this this explanation is quite professional quite uh, standard to what on a medical scale right so what usually medical or any um, pathology lab suggest that way it is giving this uh, explanation or recommended medical test now below is the model result how much model is confident which will help nurse or doctor understanding like how much model is confident in predicting a particular disease type now uh, diagnosis i'm just giving uh, as a feedback from the nurse side uh, it looks like man in gyoma forwarded to the for review now uh, next she can allocate this case to a specific uh, a specialist i'll suggest this one and submit so now this case will be visible to uh, the doctor okay now i'll quickly log in with the doctor credential So this is, uh, these are the options which are somewhat similar to what nurse is getting. Update profile, view report and allotted cases. I'll quickly visit to allotted cases. Here you see uh, the case which is pending and which is which needs to be handled by the doctor. Uh, where we, have, we are seeing some very generic or overall information of that case. Once he visits on view, uh, you can see the complete picture as it was visible to the nurse patient details, AI diagnosis, recommended medical tests, uh, then model prediction, right? Model results and uh, now his feedback and diagnosis is still pending, which he needs to give by analyzing the whole case. So I'll just quickly add. Sorry, yes. Uh, I'll say biopsy and PT scan needs to be done for confirmation of uh, what's the men in bioma. and here uh, he can select or not select any disease because it's still not confirmed i'll just selecting it to close this case so it is closed and uh, no available cases allotted cases are visible now now he can also visit view report and check all the resolved cases by him Now you can see all the cases which he has handled and this is the last one 
which he recently handled you can also view it where his doctor's feedback and decision is still is actually fixed you cannot change it there is no submit button and it's just a view of what uh, the the case which he has, he has handled it right with all the details now uh, i'll next i'll go to admin view to show you what admin admin will be capable to see and what things he can do in this system so if you see there are a couple of extra options uh, given to him view user if you visit it it was just what we have shown you in skin cancer all the available doctors will be shown along with ex hospital attach experience specialty right their email address their names uh, on a similar scale uh, you can also see all the nurse attached right now next option is the dashboard which is again similar to what we have shown you in the skin cancer detection management number of doctors nurses total cases number of pending cases right list of cases uh, along with doctors and nurse details and final doctor's decision uh, these are the four top four last recent cases along with the time when it came and doctor's feedback right and what's this case all about which disease uh, it is now the interesting thing is the download data which which was again same what we have shown you in uh, the skin cancer but one add-on is that along with all these details right uh, you can also export the reports let's say this one so this report will be visible i'll just keep it small patients detail uh, along with medical diagnosis recommended tests doctor feedback uh decision and doctor's decision and the doctor's name which this report is quite uh standard and admin can share this to a specific patient if he wants to right so uh, now one more section is pending that is admin panel in this the, the admin can handle uh uh, users right he can make users inactive active let's say this this doctor is uh, not attached to this system anymore he can make him inactive so like that he can do that right and handle the all the users including admin as well right so this is the complete control of the user base so this this is the complete system of uh, brain tumor detection management and now i'll give you a couple of technical details how i build it so i've so as i've uh, shown you like um, for recommended tests and ai diagnosis i have used gpt4 open ai gpt4 model uh, for computer vision thing i have used a, a model which i've shown you in the medic, uh, in the brain tumor detection series uh, same model i have used in the uh, in this system and along with that i have used heat map to show the highlighted affected region now to store all the details i have used mysql database right uh, and I, if i show you these are the some of the tables uh, tbl login right where i'm storing all the login details of the users then tbl model prediction here you can see all the details where I'm capturing uh, patients' details, uh, uploaded image, prediction, nurse feedback, model diagnosis, recommended test, doctor's feedback, doctor ID, and date type, right? And last one is the user profile. Uh, like doctor and nurse can change their profiles, update their profiles. So this table will be updated and shown to, uh, shown to them in the panel. So this is the whole system with these three tables and this UI using Flask. You can enjoy the complete app. And if you really want to get the code base of this whole application, I've given the link in the video description. You can visit and get the code. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Bye-bye. Uh, Till the next video, I'll show you more interesting videos, more interesting web applications and medical uh, diagnostic systems using generative ai and
machine learning computer vision models uh till then bye bye have a good day